Hey guys, it's Jackie, and today I want to show you how to do an alternative method of adding in dreadlock extensions. And the method I want to show you is going to involve adding synthetic hair that has bright colors. Oh my god, so cute, right? So I was in Hot Topic the other day, guilty pleasure, and they had these adorable hair extensions. They're synthetic hair. And I've always been looking for one that's rainbow going like a vertical up and down rainbow instead of a horizontal rainbow because if you dread this, it will wind up looking like this instead of a bunch of gobbledygook colors. This looks adorable. Anyway, um, yeah, this alternative method is actually good for, you know, adding a colored extension to your hair if you've got long dreads already. You can actually take your dread, snip it off, and you can add this in, you can take it out, add your old dread back onto your dread. Um, you can basically do whatever you want. It's really a, a flexible method. Um, and it also maximizes the area of color showing. My other method of adding dread extensions will like make this much hair cross over with the other hair, so you'll lose a lot of the color showing. So um, that's why I decided to use a different technique. And I want to show you because this is effing cute. So what you're going to do, yeah, normally this doesn't look like clown pubes, but you want to get this separated out a little so you've got something to work with. It should look like, you know, the end of a dynamite stick from Looney Tunes. Kind of like that is good. And uh, the hair you'll actually want to have like this. I, um, most of my, let's see, where's, <laughs> most of my dreads, that aren't extended have ends like this. So I simply cut the end off and gave myself about an inch to work with of like blunt hair. That will also help me to maximize the color that I can use. Um, the first thing I do before adding the extension though is I take a little bit of baby powder or whatever. This is vanilla puff powder by Lush. It smells good. And I think, and this is optional step totally, I think it adds a little friction so that the hair locks into the other hair. A little bit better. Okay, so I just take this in my hand, just a little bit, and I rub this around in it. So it looks kind of like a powdered wig. And I take this hair, and I rub this around in my palm to get as much of the leftovers as possible. You can see how it looks ghostly gray. It's Halloween time. What, what better time of the year to look ghostly gray, right? Alright, so you're going to take these together. You're basically going to make them give each other a hug. So the brown's going to wrap around the orange, orange going to wrap around the brown, and they're giving each other a really nice big hug right now. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start crochet hooking. I have, for this you'll actually, I mean, most extensions I like to use a 1.0 millimeter crochet hook because they're, pardon me, they're tougher. But for this one, because it's such fine, almost maintenance-like work, I use the 0 0.60 millimeter crochet hook. It's uh, very fine. I don't know if you can actually see how the tip looks, but it's very fine, and it helps with this job. And what I'm doing, if this was a big dread, I would be going in and scooping, 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 in and out. And I actually go in, I flip over and pull up. That's kind of a me thing that developed by itself, but let's get started. So what you're going to do... Start crochet hooking away. Alright, so see I've already got a little hold just tugging that through. Alright, so we're going to keep going here. I'm going to try to refocus the camera. Yeah! Don't look at my pores. Okay. Oh my god, do you guys remember the episode of Daria? Where Daria and Jane made a mean movie about Quinn and they were going to show it. And she's like, do my pores look cute? Oh my god, don't show everyone my pores! And then Daria decided to be nice and didn't show the video to everyone. Jane was disappointed. Anyway, um, so normally, <laughs> you if you've got extra hair, you want to part it, wrap it around, and then pull it through from the other side. Let's see. I've got a little like that with the orange, so I'm going to pull this apart wrap around to the other side so it meets as one and then I'm gonna pull it in I'm gonna go from the opposite side so pretend you're giving someone a hug you're hugging them and then you push their heart into yours like from the back 
That's what you're kind of going to do. Like my arms mimicked what your dread should do as you do this. So you, <laughs> it's hard to see what I'm doing here because I got my mirror set up weird. So you pull through, pull through from the back, pull through from the back, pull through, pull through, pull through, pull through. And then you can go straight down as always. That's, that's a good technique. You can go straight up and give it a little tug test to see if it works. Now, if you can pull this dread hard enough that it kind of hurts your scalp to pull it, it's not going anywhere unless you pull it out yourself, at least for a while. So you've got this in, totally cute, right? Um, if you have some extra hair around, like, let's see, extensions like this, or if you have a little extra synthetic hair, you, you can take like this much hair, this is for if this area is gets narrow too fast around here. Do you see how that narrows? Um, you can take like this much hair and ball it up. I've already got some. So you take the hair, it's balled up, and you wrap it around this thin area. So you just you just wrap it around. Like really you just take wrap around wherever you want it to fill in the gap. All right. If you don't have extension hair, you can steal hair from your sister or get hair out of a brush that you used to use. Really, it just needs to be kind of in a little mess. And you just pull it in like normal crochet hooking maintenance. Um, to the dread, let me see. I'm getting this right. It can also help camouflage the top of your colored extension. It can kind of help it blend in a little bit better with your hair. Although, who cares? It's totally cute, right? And that's a little bit more even. Myself, I'm probably going to go back and even it out a little bit more with some more hair because God knows I have tons of hair all over my room. Like this lots of hair. Um, but yeah, that's how you add it in and it's totally cute. Make sure you give it a good tug test. Make sure you were successful. Um, so I'll show you how it looks. By the way, I've got 62 extensions in out of, whoop, I almost dropped my camera, out of about 95. So I've got 30 to go-ish. I'm so excited to be done. So I put it here because it's a good place to have it. Um, I have to White balance, white balance. There we go. It's a good place to have it. You can uh, you can put it here. I can also hide it. Um, it's pretty subtle from the side, but I can put my hair up, leave it down. I can do all kinds of stuff, and it's it's a really cute peak of color. And you can do this to as many dreads as you want. Um, it's totally up to you. Also, I'm gonna try to um, document how this synthetic hair behaves as an extension because I've been against synthetic hair extensions for a long time because they, for no good reason. I haven't experimented with it myself, so how can I say anything about it? Um, but yeah, I've got most of my extensions in. I'll give you a quick turnaround. My dreads are three, almost four months old, and they're great. Um, when my extensions are all put in, I'll definitely make a dread update video for you guys, but I hope that you loved this tutorial, and I hope to see little rainbow hair in all y'all's hair, because that's great. Um, one final note I'd like to add, um, this method of adding extensions I feel is less stable and less permanent, less durable than the other method I used to add extensions. So if you're going to do your whole head, if I haven't said this already, be sure to do it other way because otherwise they will be likely to fall out. If you've got one, you can take care of it, but if you got 30, 40, 50, 60, 90 like me, um, you'll, uh, you'll definitely want to do the other method, which is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and have a really nice day, everyone. Bye.